Mm -hmm. um, any last remarks that you have for agents, um, just by expect anything that you think is important to know about these leads, this process, and how, how to have success? Okay, so if you are going to be primarily in home sales, focus on areas that are truly near your home. Now, I was just in New Orleans this weekend for a funeral, but I promise you, I wanted to work so bad. Oh, I wanted to work so bad because I was like, I got a lot of my New Orleans leads coming in now. And I know how I feel when I go in a home out here in Texas. So just imagine that same feeling when I'm coming in a home out there. So I'm grateful to know that they are receptive to online because technically they did fill out the form online. But I would say if you are an in-home agent, you know, finding those territories that are near you or even that two hour drive, like I, on Wednesday, I'm driving out two hours out, but I got a couple of people that are booked out there in that area. So I don't mind doing that drive. But overall, that's my, you know, tip on that behalf. And virtual, now that I realize like, okay, people are receptive to this. I'm about to add more locations if I can, just to be able to navigate in those areas. But I personally am an in-home girl. I love in-homes. So I'm not going to stray away from that. If anything, if I want to go to Austin for the weekend, I may choose to work. If I go back to New Orleans for the weekend, I want to work. So I'm just loving the fact that I can move forward with either of the phone or virtual option because at the end of the day, the lead is so fresh. They just filled it out. So it's on their mind right then and there. And I want to close them while it's still on their mind. All right. I don't need to say anything else. So.